Okay, now on the spark plugs, everybody likes to get a demonstration on their particular engine and their particular vehicle. So I'm going to do it for a fusion also, even though it's very simple. Uh, same thing applies front and back bank, but of course you got to pull the intake for the rear bank. So on these, you're just going to want to release the clip on here, but push in, release the clip, and pull it off. These are going to be brittle enough for heat cycles that you don't want to uh, break them. And leave them connected to the intake or the uh, valve cover right here as this will break off too. So just pull them back. Alright, so before we start pulling these coils out, you want to get all around them, get all the dirt out before it falls down in there. Pull your coils out, it's an 8 millimeter bolt. And they'll be stuck in there a bit. Make sure you inspect your, your boots for your coils. Make sure there's no heat cracks on here or oil so we know nothing's getting down into that uh, spark plug well causing issues in the future with your new plugs. One more time down the well. And then they're just uh, regular 5 8 size. And they may take a bit to come out, initially break the torque. And this right here is basically how they should look um, for you know a hundred thousand mile car. It'd be a bigger gap, but be a nice light brown, no uh, ash on there, no uh, no not a bunch of carbon on there, no cracks, nothing like that. Uh, new ones are uh, gapped at fifty four thousandths. They have a coating on the actual plugs. The shell here, but I still put a little bit of anti-seize on there, uh, just in case the coating wasn't fully cured. You know, whatever reason, manufacturer's defect, and then you got problems, and the manufacturer washes their hands of it. So a little bit of anti-seize on there is uh, not going to hurt, and I just do it as a force of habit. So the actual torque spec on these is 133 inch-pounds. But I use a small uh, 3 8 ratchet, you know, as far as the length, and that way I can't over tighten them. And I just tighten till they're snug, and then I give them another eighth turn, something like that. And uh, they'll never give you a problem, and they'll never uh, strip out that way either, as long as you threaded them in properly in the first place. Now, the reason I do that is because a lot of the, um, some engines have issues with the torque spec like the 542 valves and people, technicians, they're, they're torquing these down to spec like they should and then the things are blowing out. They're backing off and blowing out. Well, with my method, I've never had one come back or blow out and that's the way uh, most Ford dealer technicians do it. Um, so there's never an issue because we've learned over the years. So with a 3 8 ratchet like this, I really can't have much mechanical advantage and uh, over tighten or ruin anything. Now in case you have any, any issues with oil on here or anything's on here, use a little bit of brake clean on the rag and then you just wipe it and make sure it's clean. And then put a little bit of dielectric grease in here, like that, and then put her back down in there. Put your bolt on there and snug her down. Make sure you do it by hand at first because these will cross thread. Quite easy being aluminum. Put your connector in until it clicks like that. And then you know you're, you're safe and it's not going to fall off going down the road. 
besides that, you just repeat the same steps for the remaining five, and you'll be set to go.